step that we're going to do is we're going to start with fresh washed hair um, that's been washed and deep conditioned and blow dried with no product added to it. It's very important that you not add any product to your hair when you blow dried your hair out because now we're going to add the protective barrier on your, on your hair for the application of the unit. And what we're going to use for this application is called Robert's Diamond Bond Protective Shield. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of the Glory product which is very similar to this product that we normally use but instead of using that we tried this because it's actually a little bit cheaper. I got this at the beauty supply store and it was only $8.99 um, at the beauty supply store near May but actually Glory I believe is like $25, $20 around that nature. So I'm going to give this a try. I never had any problem with the Glory Protective Shield product but I was going to give this a try to see if um, this was comparable, if I have any flaking or anything. But if I do have any problems with this particular one, I'm going to let you know um, in this video by the time it's finished and upload it onto YouTube. So what you're going to do is, is have your hair freshly blow dried as you see that I have my hair. I don't have any oil, no um, styling serum, no styling products in the hair at all. This is to allow for this to bond. This actually has directions on it how to use it, but I'm not going to follow the directions. I'm going to follow the only the way that I've experimented with these products to make this unit as natural looking as possible. First, you're going to start off with your custom closure as well. So here's the custom closure that we're going to use for this video. It is three inches wide and then three uh, six inches deep. It covers the hair loss that I have in my hair. So what I did was I already separated to save time where I'm going to need the um, the closure unit added. So you're probably saying, well, she has hair everywhere else, but my hair loss is completely on that crown area. So this head of hair you can see has a normal um, medium density uh, sort of texture. This closure piece is also a medium density closure piece. Um, I also use Chinese hair. I don't use Indian hair or um, other types of hair because this one matches my hair uh, texture the best. And I also use a heavier uh, relaxed texture than normal because it matches my hair um, pretty much exactly the same. So you want to cover your areas relaxed texture than normal because it matches my hair um, pretty much exactly the same. So you want to cover your areas that you normally will not be using this product on. So you can put this area in a ponytail or some sort of clip. Alright. And then you're going to take the Glory product and apply it to your clean hair. So this is the area that I'm going to apply it to. All right. So I'm going to just comb the hair back. If you want to make sure that the unit fits, you want to measure from the front of your head to the back to see if you got full coverage in the back area. Where I parted my hair in the back, this is where it's going to end. And it's just as wide for the unit. You don't want to make your parting area is too big because you don't want this product on your hair where it's going to show and it's going to be out because it's going to look like um, hard and, and, and slick down like if you was wrapping your hair. So this is the area I'm going to apply it to. So I'm going to comb this hair all back. That's it. And I'm only going to apply the product to this area right here and that is it. And I'm applying it straight to the front hairline because that's where I'm actually going to apply my unit. And remind you, you're only going to apply it as far back to where the unit is going. So once you get to this portion of your head, you're not going to apply it on this portion of your hair. You're going to just let that hang because that's the part that you're going to actually curl and style when it's time for it to come out for you to finish your unit.
typically I use a comb to smooth the rest of it back. So I'm going to just use a comb to make sure it's all smooth and in, in, into my hair strand. This is going to protect my hair from the glue. So when it's time to remove the unit, it comes off very easily. Remind you, this is all the hair that was up here, but I'm not going to add any product to this portion of my hair. You want to keep that free of any product because you don't want that stiff or hard. And you don't need any protective product on that unit, on your hair, on that part. So this should match up to where the unit stops. I'll apply the unit. Now I'm going to sit underneath the dryer. As you can see what it looks like. Now I'm going to sit underneath the dryer for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go wash my hands. Send me for a hooded dryer for 5 minutes. Let this part dry. In the meantime, cut the lace off of your, unit, your customized unit as I have done here. I'm going to explain a lot of things with this here, but I'm going to do that later. So in the meantime, set me for dry for about 10 minutes, let this dry, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next to apply the unit. So after you set underneath the dryer for 15 minutes, then you're going to attach your unit. So this is completely dry. It did flake up some near the front hairline, but I, I managed to peel it off. So after you, after you apply the protective shield, which can be the glory, or the protective style base that I use, which is the Robert Diamond Diamonds Bond. You can then go underneath the dryer for 15 minutes, then it's dry, then you can attach your unit. How I added the glue is I did a few dots around the full perimeter and a couple of lines in the front. This is the front hairline. I'm going to attach the unit directly to the front of my hairline to make sure that it bonds in the front hairline. You won't even see actually this piece that's flaking from the product. So it does flake. Originally I did pick most of it off already but the rest of this you won't even see because it will be hidden underneath my um, customized upscale lace unit. Alright so after now I'm going to place the unit. You don't have to sit underneath the dryer after you place the unit on your head. It's completely up to you. I normally don't because normally it bonds pretty quickly after after I place the unit on my head. So now I'm going to place the unit. I have a clip back here to show where it's supposed to end. And I can take this off. This is so I wouldn't add any additional product of that protective shield onto my head. My hair. pressure to the unit so I make sure that it lays flat. On my head. That's all I'm doing right now is pressing down on it to make sure that all the, the glue was bonding to my hair.
as you can see, my hair actually ends right here. I don't know if you can see that. So just a couple of little pieces I'm going to end up cutting off. But I'm going to show you still pictures of the unit style after it's finished. not going anywhere and I haven't even had it fully bond yet so you can either sit in the dryer for another 10 minutes wait for this to bond or you can wait a couple of minutes normally what I do is I'll go over with a blow dryer and blend everything again and re-blow dry my hair add a couple of products like some hair oil into my hair to the ends to smooth it out so when I incorporate the closure piece to my hair, it will completely blend. But you'll still be able to pull your hair back like you normally would. Both sides. Still pull your hair up in the ponytail if you wanted to. You just have the area of hair loss now is actually covered. So. I'll be back in a second with the rest of the results. 